Welcome back. First of all, I would like to welcome each one of you for your wonderful result. 100% uh, result. Great. Uh, before I start the class, I have a kind request. Please uh, watch all the uploaded videos in a sequence. Clear? Video has a number. In case if you miss any one video, then uh, the concept will not be clear for you. Clear? So, fix a time, watch all the uploaded videos, write subject wise and then only the, the, your concept will be clear. So, today as uh, we have, uh, as I told you that today we have to start the topography and the interpretation of the topographical map. It means how to read topography. So, first we have to see what is topographical map. Actually, topo topographical map gives detailed information uh, about the physical feature, man-made feature, contours uh, with the help of different symbols, right? And these all details generally used to be the detail of a small area. Now, uh, in the topo sheet, in our topo sheet, we have a different important topic which we are going to uh, we are going to study uh, in this class. Clear? So altogether, twenty topics are there. Uh, uh, in that, we are just trying our best to cover five topics. Clear? So these main topics are uh, main topics are now we are going to discuss. So these are the main topics which we have to discuss and first we are going to read about the scale of the map, then how to find the 4 grid reference, how to find the 6 grid reference, drainage pattern, settlement, direction from one place to another, mode of transport, color significance and occupation. Uh, here we are going to read the these first to five that is scale, 4 figure, 6 figure, drainage pattern and settlement, uh, settlement pattern. Okay, uh, we have discussed about what is topographical map. Then what is map? Actually, a map represents the feature of the surface of the earth in a miniature form. Clear? The large surface we are able to show on a small piece of paper. For that, for that we need a proper scale. Without scaling, it cannot be possible. Then interpretation will be quite uh, wrong. So for that, we are using proper scale uh, for the topo sheet or for making the any kind of map. So what is a scale? So the definition of the scale is the scale of a map denotes the proportion that the distance between any two point on a map bears to the distance between the same two point on the surface. Right? So on the surface of the earth and on the map. These two words are the key point in the scale. To find out the scale, we are there is a formula. The scale is equal to map distance between two points divided by ground distance between the same point. Okay. So there are three main methods of representing the scale on the map, and these are the first one is the statement. Second one is linear or graphic scale and the third one is representative fraction. These three uh, scales uh, I, would, uh, I would like to show you one by one. So first we will see the statement. What is statement and where the statement is mentioned on the topo sheet. So this is the topo sheet and statement uh, used to be shown on the map at the bottom left side of the topo sheet. Here you will be able to see a straight line and this straight line is divided into two parts. For example, from here to here it is called as a primary uh, primary uh, part and further this each primary part is divided and this is called as a secondary part and there is a whole straight line is called as a linear or graphic scale which is the second type of uh, second type of uh, uh, scale which can be seen on the topo sheet third scale is rf that is a representative fraction which generally used to be seen at, uh, at, uh, at uh, about the linear scale about the linear scale now this representative fraction uh, 
uh, is represented as the ratio of the length of a line on the map and corresponding actual distance on the earth's surface clear and the formula of uh, uh, the formula of representative fraction is the distance on the map divided by distance on the ground at the same unit if above is centimeter the below also uh, denominator numerator both should be centimeter okay generally uh, in the question paper a question comes to convert the following scale into rf for example if it is given there the scale is 2 cm is equal to 1 km which is our uh, statement statement of the topo sheet right and this statement has to be converted into rf so what we have to do we have to use the formula the formula as i have already told you representative fraction is equal to distance on the map divided by distance on the ground if uh, distance on the map is 2 cm and distance on the ground is 1 km so what we have to do we have to first convert the kilometer into centimeter because both the units should be the same so when we convert 1 kilometer into 1 lakh uh, why 1 lakh because 1 kilometer is equal to 1 lakh centimeter okay now when we divide we will be able to get 1 divided by 50,000 and that is RF 1 is to 50,000 why I have written here India's RF because the India's topo sheet has the statement 2 centimeter is equal to 1 kilometer and when we convert this statement we used to get the RF 1 is to 50,000. The main advantage of uh, RF is uh, it is independent of any particular unit and it can be converted to any unit of measurement and uh, that is the reason it, it is called as a international scale. So this is the most important scale uh, among other three. Uh, next question is four figure grid reference. Before we jump into four grid reference, uh, just we will see what is grid. In class 9, you must have studied uh, the, uh, the grid made by longitude and latitude and that grid is helping us to locate the countries, the continent, etc. But those grids are unable to help out to locate cities, small buildings, etc. Because that is small scale, uh, a small uh, scale map. But here, with the help of topography, uh, we are uh, making another grid and with this grid we are able to locate even small um, buildings, uh, streams, roads etc. Clear. And these grids are formed by two lines, horizontal and vertical line which is called as a easting and northing. Here you will be able to see some vertical lines and each vertical line is numbered. And, and this lines are called as easting. Why we are calling it easting? Because these numbers are increasing towards the east. And that's the reason we are calling it easting. This is, uh, this is the, uh, these lines are some uh, horizontal lines are called northing. And here also why we are calling it northing? Because the numbers which is given to these lines are increasing towards the north. And that's the reason we are calling it northing. These northing and easting together makes the grid. And these grids are helping us to locate any of the building, any of the small area, small area. Okay. So now we will start the four grid reference. How to find the four grid reference? Now here we are going to learn how to find the four grid reference. For example, we have to find the four grid reference of this uh, this uh, temple. Okay, and we have to write the four grid reference. You will be able to know if in four figure grid reference there will be there there's supposed to be four figures, right? These are first two place. It means the first two figure should be easting, and next two figure will be northing. Okay. First condition. First two place has to be for the easting. Second will be northing. Next, when we are entering the northing and easting, so we have to quote the smallest easting. For example, this temple is coming in between 
two easting that is 27, 28 but we will quote 27 because 27 is the smallest one. So here we are writing 27. Second one, 44 and 45 these are the two northern right and here we have to quote the small one and that is 4, 4 and this is 4 grid reference. Clear? We are not, for example, the, the four grid reference of these all three things. This is a survey tree, this is a tank and the four grid reference of this, uh, this uh, uh, symbols is 2744. This is one kind of a address to reach to the spot. Now we are going to learn how to find the six figure grid reference. Clear? For that, here there are six figures, six places. In that the first two, one, two and fourth, fifth will be the same as the, uh, as the four figure grid reference. Clear? For example, here we have to write the six grid reference of this temple. So this will be the same. That is 27, 28. In that we have to quote 27 and in 44, 45 the smallest one 44. There is no change in that. Only we have to work to find out the third figure and the sixth figure. So for that what we have to do? First of all we have to divide the grid into 10 equal parts vertically and horizontally. Clear? Now how to do that? For that what we have to do? First we will see the size of this grid. In your topo sheet the grid's length length will be 2 cm, this also will be 2 cm, this one and this one, the 2 cm all together. Clear? And these 2 cm we have to divide into 10 parts. For that, uh, what we have to do? For 2 cm is equal to 20 mm. Okay? So, instead, instead of dividing the grid into 10 equal parts, what we will do? We will take 2, 2 mm as a 1. Okay, 2 mm, 1, 4, 2, 6, 3. What we are doing? We are, uh, we are dividing the mm with 2 number. Okay, dividing the uh, m, uh, millimeter uh, by 2. Now, how to uh, apply on, the, uh, on, on finding the 6 grid reference? Now, just see here. It is a rule that all the building, for example, the temple, the church, the mosque, if any kind of building is there, we will take extreme left point. Okay, you can see this point we will take. And the sixth grid, four we have already got, now we have to find it out. And the third figure, the third figure should be easting and all the standing line is easting. So naturally these, these lines are standing line. So for that what we have to do? We have to use our scale in such a way. But you have to make sure when you keep your scale, number should be increasing towards the east. Clear? Like that you keep your, uh, uh, keep your scale and you can count how many ml is, m, uh, uh, millimeter is coming in your scale and that millimeter has to be divided by 2. Clear? So here we have seen that it is coming 5. If we take the uh, 4 grid reference of uh, this uh, survey tree, its, uh, it's uh, um, uh, easting is coming 10 that we will divide it by 2. If this is the tank and if we take the 6 grid reference, the third point will be 14, we will divide by 2. In case if we are taking this one, we are dividing by 2 and uh, it is coming 7. And so what number will be here? This will be 7. Got it? How I got it? Uh, got the 7. 14 is a mm. That is millimeter. 14 millimeter. And that has to be divided by 2. Then we got 7. And that 7 will be the third figure. Now we have to work out for the sixth figure. Sixth figure is a nodding and all the sleeping line is nodding and here you will be able to see a number 15. 
no when we divide 15 we are getting the answer in decimal so we will consider the previous one now look at here for example any number which is coming in between for example 40 15 16 if it is coming 15 we will consider the previous one and it's a number we will write here so here uh, if it is 15 we will consider 40 and 14 divided by 2 is 7 and we will write here 7 now in case if we will take the uh, six grid reference of this survey tree so we will just do it for you fresh 2 3 4 5 6 as i told you these two will be the same of northing so here it is 27 here will be 44 now the third we have to find it out so all the standing line standing line survey tree it is 10 10 divided by 2 is 5 so what number we will write here 5 and if we talk about the talk about the northing so it is coming 12 you can see uh, 12 so 12 divided by 2 that is 6 so the six grid reference of this uh, uh, survey tree is a uh, 275446 right so this is the uh, this is the this is the way how to find the six figure grid reference uh, so four uh, four figure uh, grid reference and six figure grid reference these are two type of question is sure in your topo sheet first uh, four figure grid reference never uh, generally it is not asked in the exam uh, they will give you the address four figure four figure grid reference the address will be given you and it will must be asked to find out what is shown on that address okay six grid reference is a 99 percent sure this question used to come in the to, uh, in the in the question paper and the six grid reference requires lots of practice so you all have the topo sheet so at least 10 topo sheet you pick it up and do the exercise only that question six uh, the six uh, figure grid reference uh, question is there on on all the in all the question paper so just do the practice 10 10 question has to be done apart from that some assignments i am uh, just giving in a description box please uh, um, just uh, go through uh, some materials are there some notes are there just go through and some exercises are there just do it okay so we will see in the next class.